Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to see if we can get this thing running. When I bought it, the guy pulled it a few times. He said it wouldn't run. So let's check it out, see what's going on with it. We'll check the oil first. Pretty confident I can get it to run. It is uh it is a little low. I mean there's still oil in it. Just a little low. Someone has got this wired up or wired open. Let's check the fuel. There is a little bit of fuel in there. Not a lot. So let me go get some fuel. Let's dump some gas in here. Let's see what happens. This is why I hate them non-vented gas cans. Are you kidding me? Jesus. I see some water and dirt in there. So before I put fresh gas in it, I'm going to dump that out, get some, get a rag, get a long screwdriver, try to clean that out the best I can. Um, let me see if you can see inside there. I can't see my screen, but... And, uh, you'll see, hopefully, doing the best I can here, guys, I can't, uh, anyway, I see some water, there's some bubbles down in the bottom of that, those bubbles are water, because water and gas don't mix, and there's a lot of dirt in there, so let me get this cleaned out, and we'll put some fresh gas in it, let's see what happens, maybe it's something stupid like that, I don't know, we'll see. Now before I put gas in this thing, let's check this filter out. Make sure it's not all gooped up and clogged up. There's water in there, so see that? Pretty gooped up. So I'm gonna leave that off, but you have to stick this bolt on this style of carburetor back in there, or it's not gonna run. Okay, so somebody's taped that on there. All right, put a little fuel in it, and we're going to see if the primer bulb is working. All right, quite a bit of fuel in there now this back on now let's look down in the top of that and see if the primer bulb is squirting fuel in there like it should we we'll got here in the sun a little bit yeah it is squirting fuel in there alright I don't know if you've seen that or not but it is 
Now, let's try to start it up. I mean, maybe that's all it was. I did a few years ago. I did do a uh, video on how to clean the tank out of one of these if it starts and stalls. Well, this one didn't start. So let's give it a shot. Got the rope too short. For one thing, can't get a good pull on it. Give us a pull and see if it's got spark. Okay, yeah, it's got spark. At least to the plug. Give it a couple more shots. Give it a try again. so it runs that's all I really want to do on it today it needs cleaned up I don't think I'm gonna to have to pull the carburetor off of this so I'm just gonna to have to get some degreaser degrease the hell out of it clean that filter put another blade on it uh, I think it's good to go so there you guys go um, it does run 10 bucks Ought to be worth $20, $25 once I get it cleaned up, get a blade on it, you know, and see. We'll go from there, see how much a blade is if I don't have one. I've got a blade in there, but I don't know if it'll fit on this, but we'll have to see. Uh, you know, I'm not going to pay $15 for a blade. Then I'm going to have $25 in it to try to get $20 out of it. It doesn't make sense. I'll part it out first, but... If anything, I can sell it as is. It runs, needs a blade. So, anyway, there you go. <laughs> Y'all stay safe out there. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.